Hi, I'm Marine. I'm a chemist and a project manager. I give Siloxis a 4 to 5 rating and for more reviews click below. I use Siloxis to help me in my daily process to manage my projects and I use actually a lot the gun chart tool. It's very easy to use. Uh, it's really you don't have to learn it, you can really do it on your own. And the other part, which I like a lot, it's uh, the, the chart where you can see the allocation of your colleagues. So they're occupied which, uh, in which project and so on. So this is really, really helpful. And also the dashboard structure of, the, um, of Siloxis is very helpful to navigate within the program from one chart to one application to another from the program without clicking a lot of times somewhere else. The most about Siloxis I like is the fact that you can really use it intuitively so you don't have to redo a course. I recommend it because Siloxis has a lot of functions but even with a trial version and just by trial and error you can create useful structures of your project and you can actually use it and this is what I really, really like. It's not a five star rating for me because there are some little things which are a little bit annoying. For example, if you put in the vacation and holidays of your team members or, your, or yourself, you have to do it a little bit, I don't know, you have, can just put one date and then you have to make a ta the date repetitive so that this is a task which is repeated for the duration of the holidays and I think this is kind of unintuitive to do it that way like uh, if you're booking holidays and then on a platform you always have a start date and a finish date and this is not the case for Siloxis this is really just a minor thing and the other thing is that you can put in the dates and your on your favorite form like day month year um, you can personalize it but at some point uh, it's overwritten by something else, so then it's it's kind of confusing that they change the day by the month and so on. But it's just really little minor issues, so to say.